Welcome to the Curlmeister Sisters, Episode 2. I'm Risa. And I am Ariana. And we are the Curlmeister Sisters. We are, for whatever um, that entails. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just as a reminder, this is not a rated G podcast. If you're nope. looking for something like that, go to the official Her podcast. And they got some stuff for you. Yeah. So leave now. Three, <laughs> two, one. Okay, you better be gone or I'm telling your moms. <laughs> exactly. So today we were going to talk about treasure in a royal tower. Yay. Um, as we mentioned on our last podcast, this was the first one we ever finished. <laughs> um, you know, through joint effort, but finished. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So this was the first one where we ever got any sort of, you know... Resolvement. Is that a word? Resolvement. Just I think it's just resolve. But do we do we <laughs> resolution? I mean, resolution. You know, we get like we, we reached we reached. Nope. Uh, we <laughs> we completed it. We we we, we had it. the you know yeah, which was nice because our other ones ended quite abruptly, like you know, screeching piano noise or something like you know. that. <clears throat> <laughs> so this was nice ending it you know it was um, and we we finally got to hear like a dear hannah i know right it was kind yeah. of shocking it was almost yeah. shocking i was like oh yeah. this is how it ends but i hadn't i had only read a few nancy drew books like before yeah. we had played it so i had no clue who the fuck hannah was yeah. i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i was like i yeah i don't know who this is right we, you know i was just i had no clue I feel like we got lucky and stumbled across some of our um, Nancy Drew books and went, oh, Hannah's the housekeeper. Right. <laughs> most of the, I think most of the uh, Nancy Drew books I'd ever read personally were not in yeah, River Heights. They, yeah, they had nothing to do with it. So okay. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. So Treasure in a Royal Tower takes yeah. place in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Thank you. Okay, I, that's what I thought, but I thought I was being a little stupid. Right, because the cheese. It's the cheese. It's the cheese. <laughs> I don't know why we moved uh, Marie Antoinette's, like, tower into Wisconsin, but we did. Because it's pretty and snowy. Yeah, because that's, yeah. that's what happens. We, we move whole towers with secret diamonds in them to the American Midwest. Yeah, yeah. I'm still not sure how they did that. No. But, you know. Well, we never know. <laughs> now, this is one of the ones where Nancy's actually there on vacation. Am I wrong? No, you're right. She and yeah. Bess and George are supposed to be there. But well, Bess, Bess and, and George, George yeah. have been waylaid by the weather, if I remember correctly. Yes, that's right. Um, it's been a while since I played this one. Mm -hmm. However, I know that we're, for some reason, we want to go mail stuff to them. It's like, they're supposed to be here soon, aren't they? Right. Why are we mailing them postcards? Yeah. that's That doesn't uh, make sense to me. Unless I'm completely crazy and they're not supposed to be enjoying them, but... I think that may maybe it's, it's for Hannah. We really should have read up on this. I apologize. This is... I don't the apologize. Next one, I don't next apologize. One we actually know better, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. We've played this one several... Like, a lot of times is a stupid Yeah, thing. but it's, like, spread out through years. <laughs> now it's the last 15 years since it came out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. Um, okay. Know, right? So... <laughs> Let's talk about what we, what like, we about like about it. Yeah, <laughs> I love the setting. I love the setting on this game so much. It's so pretty. It is, especially once is we it... get to go outside. Mm -hmm. and then there's the nice big library. Yeah, and I'm such a huge library fan. Right, I'm sucker for a nice garden and a nice library, and this has both. It really does. It's good. And the snow. It's just, I feel like if we if we got to see more of the outside of the building, we'd think it's even better because it's got it's got a kind of cool layout inside. But yeah, yeah. However, the layout inside is the major down point in the game mm -hmm. design. design. The fact that you can get completely lost and have no clue where you are. You can come. This is the one where you can come to uh, a dead end and go, "Hello, wall." <laughs> That's why that's part of our drinking game. Is if yeah. Nancy says something like that. <laughs> Hello, wall. <gasps> One of those things uh, that became 
one of those things that became just a part of our, our normal vocabulary just because yeah. it was just, just so ridiculous <laughs> to us. Um, also, I think we love the game because of the introduction of one of our favorite characters, yes. Professor Hotchkiss. <laughs> The crazy old lady everybody longs to turn into. Well, I don't think everyone longs to turn into. I think it's mostly just you. Really? <laughs> I, I, I feel... Really? Am I alone? I don't think you're completely alone. There are enough There are enough Hotchkiss fans in the Clue crew. But, yeah. you know, the whole history buff thing, That's it's you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess. But, yeah. Hotchkiss, One the of first of many. The first of many of our elderly female <laughs> uh elderly female characters who don't remember who the hell we are um, yeah. you know I, I feel that is one thing that the Nancy Drew games are rich with it's elderly female ca- female characters yeah who great like, they're the top of something and <laughs> a great writer a great um you, you know, know Charlotte Purcell is not elderly come she, on she I is feel like she's middle-aged she's middle-aged come on she holds herself as 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 though she's old so she does that's all all i'm gonna go with (laughs) but yeah so we got we got hotchkiss for the first time our first our first hotchkiss experience in her full crazy glory and she orders a giant plate of chicken wings (laughs) and couscous Couscous. At the time, I don't think I even knew what couscous was, so I thought she was just making shit up. Like I was like, I don't, I don't think I know what that is. I was a notoriously picky eater as a child, so even if I had had couscous, I probably did not like it. <laughs> but now I love it. Now I'm yeah. totally with Hotchkiss. Let's get just an entire bowl of couscous. Come on, <laughs> let's do it. And our gigantic thing of fallings, you know. Yes. Because why the hell not? <laughs> but yeah. I, I, okay. Of characters that I love in, in it, Hotchkiss definitely is number one, but I do love me some Dexter. Dexter is like that... Like... I, I don't know how he's, to put it there. He He's that guy that you really just don't want to disappoint in your life. Like, that's who <laughs> Dexter is. Dexter's that guy that you really want to, like, make him happy and get him like to smile because he doesn't <laughs> smile very often. So you really just want to like, yeah. I don't know. And you don't want to, you don't want to disappoint him. Yeah. And yeah. I remember the first time we ever played the game, spoilers guys, spoilers. The first time we ever <gasps> played the game, I thought he was like a bad guy. Like we were convinced he was the bad guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Straight up. I mean, his name, his name is Dexter Egan. That sounds pretty evil. That's, like that's, <laughs> that sounds like he's gonna be a, a freaking I just master you know, villain. <laughs> he just he, I just felt like he was gonna be the bad guy. And I know that's kinda how it was supposed to be, but you're supposed to think that. But still, mm-hmm. like it was it was it was great. Kate turned out, no. He's just it's this guy with a heart of gold and an abusive childhood. You know? An abusive childhood. And an abusive childhood. Because, <laughs> so, you know, every good parent keeps a, a, a thing a, a a, one book with their child's biggest achievements and one book with their greatest sins. Yeah. When he was good, he was very good. And when he was bad, he was very bad. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. That is that is crazy. Right? That's that's cuckoo bananas. That's awful. It's just like... There's there's a reason that Dexter ends I up I would be being... a grouchy old man, too. Me, too. Even well, with just... my female innards. Yeah. Exactly. It's just like... It's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Poor Dexter. Yeah. Once you get into the, the that little bit of the library, it's it's you suddenly realize, oh no, Dexter's not a bad guy. He's abused. He's, <laughs> yeah. Neglected. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. Um. Poor guy. <laughs> Just so what is, sad. I'm so yeah. sad. Reese is, Reese is looking forlornly into space. Just, <laughs> like, you can't see it, but she is. She's she's deeply upset by Dexter. I am. 
Just and in our in our drinking game, actually, um, you know, one of our points is when something makes you extremely sad. And so anytime we find something that like whole, that, yeah, it, it is. It's chug time. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> it's like finish your drink time. Mm hmm. He's just like, I just, I just get sad. He just, just... <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So we've gone over the people we like. What yes. about the people we don't like? Well, we definitely don't like Dexter's <laughs> Dexter's abusive Dexter's father. Abusive father. <laughs> but um, I don't think he counts. Let's talk about let's talk about the least likable character in all of Nancy Drew, about... in my opinion. <laughs> Is that fucking bitch Lisa? She might be. <laughs> She's like it, it might just be because she was the first bad guy we came across. Like, that might yeah. just be it. Right? <gasps> Sorry, guys. Spoilers. Lisa's the bad guy? I know. So, we... It's like... She's trying to... She's that bitch that tries to be your best friend but is talking about you behind your back. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that they translated that very well into this character. Absolutely. Because, <laughs> holy cow. What a fake bitch. First, okay. And I, I'm not I'm just talking about the fake IDs. She's just great. a fake no. bitch. <laughs> Um, as we have said before, um, when Reese and I first played this game, I came in like partway through <laughs> and then we restarted it, but uh, I came in partway through and at that point, um, she couldn't even really talk to Lisa. L Lisa yeah. was in one of her, um, I don't feel like talking right now sort of things. And, um, I immediately went, whoa, I do not like this bitch. <laughs> she's like, no, I think she's supposed to be her friend, but, and since this was the first one we'd ever played, she thought that she just made Lisa mad. Yeah, um, I <laughs> Because I was, you know, like, like, 11. I did it wrong! I was 11, and I thought I had ruined the game. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, it was irrevocably damaged, because yeah. <laughs> Cause Lisa got pissed off. <laughs> yeah. Basically. So, but really, she was just in her, you know, sulking, you, you, yeah. you're figuring me out, bitch. Mm -hmm. How do I spin this? I'm sorry. <laughs> I really just dislike the just character. And the character doesn't dislike. make the character doesn't even really make any sense, in my opinion. It's like Nancy accepts these explanation explanations from her that make <laughs> no sense. Yeah. It's like really? Nancy? Are you really that trusting? Yes. Are you really that trusting? Nancy that trusting Drew. Yeah. What okay, okay, that brings me to a good thing. In oh. this in this game, what is Nancy's nickname? You know, what would we call her? Nancy something Drew. Nancy got lost getting to my own hotel room. Drew. <laughs> I feel like this is um Nancy. I died in a shed. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Jeez, that takes a wicked turn when you don't realize she froze to death. <laughs> Just froze to death. <laughs> Of all the deaths in the shed, that is the one that gets adjust before. <laughs> I don't know. She almost gets just like burned alive in a shed. And that's There's true. another game, so that's she true. almost the dies in lots of shit. Like <laughs> Nancy, don't go in that shed. <laughs> I think. I mean, technically, the chairlift is in a shed. You know, yeah. but it's, it's kind of a shed. I kind of think of it as a shed. Like a work it's pretty room. tiny. Yeah. Nancy, I have to go down to Nancy. I talk to inanimate objects, Drew. <laughs> Nancy, do I take the stairs or the elevator? Because <laughs> it's uh, one of those things we have to figure out. Uh, I hate, I hate the multiple ways of getting places in that one. I know it, it just drives it, me nuts. <laughs> it's like in real life when I'm like, I like have a set way of going places, even if it's mm -hmm. not like the fastest way but I still like get weirded out if I go the wrong way and so I'll have a set way to go and Ariana when she takes control of the game messes with me on purpose <laughs> and just goes other ways and she's like no it's fewer clicks this way I'm just like I don't care <laughs> this is the way I go we go up and the then main staircase I like to go. <laughs> and then sometimes I like to go you know complete wrong ways just cause it's you know it's and pretty this way. I want to go talk to the wall. Nancy, I talk but, to walls, Drew. Yeah. 
I think um, that one's this game. I think that one works. I feel like it would be something along the lines of Nancy, yeah, sure, I'll do everything you tell me to, Drew. Because this is one of those ones where I feel like Nancy <laughs> Drew prepared me for my job. Um, Especially doing the potch you- kiss, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Dealing with crazy old people. Um, and... Um, just, be, just because, oh, yeah, I need you to fix that radiator for me. Mm, I will, if you do something for me. <laughs> no, just do your job. Just do your job and fix the goddamn radiator. Yeah, can you imagine? Water here today. <laughs> if you, can you imagine being, like, a guest at a hotel? Like, you're, you're, you work there. But being a guest at a hotel and going to the front desk and saying, my water heater's broken. And that person in the front desk goes, mm, can you flip some breakers for me first? <laughs> can I get you to um, serve some people some food? I know you're here on vacation. You're paying to be here. Right. But um, how about you just... Someone's paying. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, it's just like... <sighs> you know. It's just weird. <sighs> I don't but know. yeah, it's it, that is true. At least I get paid to be there. But at the same time, it, I'm not paid to be a plumber <laughs> or an electrician uh, or whatever. any of the other things that I do. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. How does uh, I'm trying to remember? How does Nancy even stumble upon the fact that Marie? Antoinette. Antoinette. Jesus. <laughs> Marie Antoinette's um uh shit is in the treasure walls? is is in there. Mm. Like how does she even stumble onto that fact? You know, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can't remember. That sounds like conspiracy <laughs> theory shit that I would not follow up on. <laughs> I mean it has something to do with Hotchkiss talking about I think Hotchkiss is the one who tells her. But then like yes, but doesn't she, she just like find conspiracy- doesn't she just find the medallion in her own uh, someone's medallion in her own locker doesn't that, that happen yeah maybe yeah she's given the wrong um i don't know she's given locker. the wrong combination and that's how she goes into um lisa's locker and finds yeah. all her fake identities and stuff and okay. she's like i'm just a photojournalist like that fucking works you don't need well, fake just, identities to be well, photojournalist oh, and photo nancy should know so that because somebody else. no nancy should know that because she's friends with journalism majors you know, her her friend Maya, her best friend Maya, who never comes back ever. <laughs> Have we seen Maya at this point? No, not yet. <laughs> See, okay, there we go. No, that's the next game, technically. She doesn't become a best friend until, oh yeah, she doesn't become a best friend until the next game. And then the she's, you know, suspended. In, in... She's gone forever. <laughs> this is Nancy's one Asian friend. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Because, you know. There's no Asian people in River Heights, apparently. I mean, we go to River Heights, yeah, and it's full of white anyone. people. It's full awful of white people. Awful lot of honkies. Awful lot of honkies. <laughs> awful lot of honkies in River Heights. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's supposed to be, like, Illinois, but that's not an excuse. <laughs> no, no, I don't that's think really, so. That's really, really not an excuse. Chicago's in Illinois. I know. It's and, just like, yeah. we're just somewhere off the Great Lakes is kind of generally yeah. but still still i mean there's yeah yeah mhm <sighs> but yes speaking of medallions um makes me think of the lockers which makes me think of the basement which makes me think of jacques jacques uh, our... nope not jacques <laughs> no jacques Sorry. the ski instructor who's jacques our foreign ski guy, yep. who is a Nancy Drew trope, foreign yeah. ski guy. <laughs> it's, it's a strange trope that you would not expect. <laughs> Actually, this one has a couple of tropes because yeah. it's got the foreign ski guy, and then it has the disgraced, uh, disgraced. Um, what should we call it? Oh yeah, the disgraced um, professional of yep. some kind, you know. Um, and it's got the. Uh, old man what? trope that she he's not the old, old man dexter oh oh dexter you're talking oh 
I thought you're talking about the game. I thought you're talking about Jacques himself. And I was like, no, no. I was like, wow, he does have a lot of trophies. I'm saying, I'm saying this game, not this just game. This character. Got you. That makes Think more sense. Think strokes. Said. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking big picture. Okay. Yes, the game um, itself. But yeah, it's got it's got old old man, you know, disgruntled old man. Like we've got in this and and in uh, final scene. Final and scene doesn't count. High school. <laughs> what? High school creek. Kids. Icicle and Creek. in Kapu Cave and in right yeah, yeah. So it's a lot there's a lot of games uh, and in Ash Isle by Ashes mm-hmm. Alexi counts as that trope as well even though he's not like super old but he acts super old yeah yeah he he's one of those I'm so old in my early yeah. to mid 50s <laughs> <laughs> just an old man well to be fair he was a teen star in a way that's so he true peaked early when you peak he early <laughs> So he's Nancy's future. Yeah, pretty much. I feel like him and 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 Hotchkiss and Sherlina are a combination of who she'll be. Yeah. She Hopefully. doesn't clean up her act. <laughs> yeah, clean up your act, Nancy Drew. Now, puzzles in this game. I like the puzzles in this game because they're I feel so like the majority of sliding sliding puzzles. <laughs> There are a lot of sliding puzzles and stuff. Which means I, just like I don't it. do a lot. I just like it because it's like the actual mechanical puzzles. Like, it's not all an actual puzzle puzzle. Sometimes it is, you gotta go and flip some breakers kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. I like Which, that. It makes more I sense. Like mm-hmm. It's not like, you know, <laughs> you gotta go play 2048 until the lighthouse turns on, you know? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Plot-wise. I beg to differ. No, that doesn't make any sense plot-wise. And you know it. <laughs> Fine. So, it's like the puzzles in this one are a little more down to earth. Yeah, they're more reasonable. They're they're not, you know... Uh, some of those ones, it's like, how... No, how did this exist in this place? It's like, it Why starts... Is like, the ones at this stage make sense. It's once mm-hmm. we start getting to, like... I feel like the first one that does ridiculous things like that is actually Curse of Blackmore Manor where we have, you know, rotating rooms and shit. I think <laughs> that's where we start well, getting out of hand. You know, because I mean, like rich English people, they've only got so much to do. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> manor homes are not that big. <laughs> Underneath them they are. Nope. No, that's not. That would require so much shit. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. That re- would require way too much. That doesn't yeah. doesn't work. Also, it makes me super claustrophobic to think about. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Getting trapped in all those rooms. <laughs> Ugh, okay, oh, yeah. That's okay. for, I'm that's not for talking about later. it. That's for a later date. Yeah. <laughs> that's for a later time. Um, but no, I but feel yeah, like the, <clears throat> the only time that it starts to get um, ridiculous with the puzzles in this game is when you get to like you know having to look through colored glass, and even then, yeah. that's that's that. That, that fits make... into the conspiratorial thing, where it's like, this is some weird Knights Templar-esque. It's uh... true. That's not really how, like, actually, like, looking through colored things work. To <laughs> Like, <laughs> like that's my thing. That's not really how it works scientifically speaking. Freeze your brain. Shh, it's okay. <laughs> Just pretend like I'm, pretend like I'm cool with it. Yeah. Okay, well, fine. Well, it, it works. It works movie wise. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say in Nancy Drew universe, it does work. Sure, just yeah. like, just like mirrors reflect lasers perfectly to hit <laughs> sensors in the 1930s. Yeah, that's definitely yes. that's Nancy Drew logic. It works. With Nancy Drew logic, we can travel to the to the 30s and not have. And, and have, just write about it in our scrapbook. scrapbook. In our scrapbook, we're like, it's the 1930s. And then just keep Woo-hoo! going on with life. <laughs> Cha-cha! Yeah. So, uh, is there, like, a least favorite puzzle on this one for you? There are a majority sliding puzzles. <laughs> I can't do sliding puzzles. Just kind of click at it, and then it just works. <laughs> yeah. Just click at things wildly, and it'll fall into place. It's like a that Rubik's is, Cube. That is usually my It's like a method. Rubik's Cube. Except Rubik's Cubes have algorithms that you have to follow. Yeah. I, there's a I'm Rubik's, sure that okay, we tried okay, to completely the off topic. Rubik's. Completely off topic. But there's okay. a Rubik's Cube at my work. I work at a kids club in a gym, for people who don't know. And the majority of the children are under the age of seven. 
And I was trying to keep a kid off of playing the Xbox because his mom doesn't want him playing Minecraft 24-7, unsurprisingly. Um, and so I was opening the cupboard, and I'm like, what board game do you want to play? And he sees the Rubik's Cube, and he's like, I want to play with that. And the kid's like five. <laughs> and I'm like, sure, kid, go ahead. And so he's trying, and he actually got, like, almost a full side. I was like, he's like, how do you work this thing? <laughs> like, it's some <laughs> sort of, like, electronic device. And I was like, you you just rotate it until you can match the colors. And he's like, that's easy. I'm like, you do it, kid. <laughs> He's going to have it figured out the next time you see him and you're going to No, be he's like... not. No. No, he went back to Minecraft today. <laughs> <laughs> he went right back well, to it. <laughs> who can resist the allure? Well, I think that's why he wanted the Rubik's Cube to begin with. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it looks yeah, like a Minecraft it's block. A block. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Minecraft has broken a generation. It has. Just like <clears throat> Nancy Drew broke us. Just like Nancy Drew broke us. I think Just like I we're going to be a generation that... of people with like crazy puzzles in our homes so that our children can't get their inheritance until you know they what? figure it out. You know what? That's been going on since forever. Hence the Nancy Drew thing. Hence the Nancy Drew thing. It totally happened. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, there's an entire Poirot short story about having to try, try to find a hidden will. Yeah. So, you know. There you go. Yeah. So, there. It has to have evolved from something, because... Something must have happened. I don't know. (laughs) Why else would it be a thing in so many stories? I mean, and that Poirot story predates any Nancy Drew book by eight years, so... Yeah. I feel like there's probably a Sherlock, too. Probably. I can't delve into that. (laughs) No, I don't know. So detectives are really interested in these... Yeah, obviously. ...hidden will cases. I love it. Just gotta mm. love it. You know? So, you just don't like any of the puzzles. Just don't like Yeah, them. I just don't like Do you have a like favorite most... puzzle? Or <sighs> how about just, like, favorite area? Mm, well, there's always the library. Getting but into it's... that secret room in the library? Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite puzzle. Figuring out all the... I guess it does. it is littered with, like information that you end up needing yeah that is cool you know because i'm all about gathering information for what seems like no use at all and then being able to use it yeah exactly (laughs) so um favorite conspiracy theory about this game there's a conspiracy theory oh there's conspiracy theories about every game we can even come up with one let's come up with some ridiculous (laughs) meta Make it up on the spot. Ridiculous meta about this. Lisa is stalking Jacques. Oh, I thought that was obvious. <laughs> no, but the thing is, like, no, never mind. Never right mind. Now. No, I oh. am joking because Lisa's a lesbian. Like right. she's got, yeah. she's got the haircut. She's got the demeanor. She, yeah. Sorry. She, she hits fits, on Nancy. She, fits, she hits on Nancy. You know. <laughs> She fits the '90s uh, lesbian she does, persona. It just the, it is what jeans, it is. The jeans and everything, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exciting traveling job. Yeah. See. Yeah. But Lesbians she... travel. Sounds like it's some sort of euphemism, but it I can't does. figure out how. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. That's what, uh, there's that. I think Jacques is definitely bi. Maybe that's just because he's French. Maybe I'm just racist. Maybe it's French just, people. yeah. I, it's not my fault. I have an English boyfriend. It means I'm biased against French people, just oh, I'm, by osmosis. I apologize to any of our listeners in France. Yeah, I don't, I, there I are don't none of you. I, there are none of you. <laughs> <laughs> there are, there are none. But then again, French Canada, I apologize. Well, they're not French. It's true. They have the Canadian influence, and Americans notoriously feel like Canadians are better than them. It's just Canadians it's just are just th- better people. They're just better people. <laughs> so what happens? Better. Yeah, Canadians are just better people. Sorry. I mean, it just that's what happens when you have health care. Getting political about this, huh? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, any other? Uh, see, I don't know. Um, I just want to create some sort of 
random conspiracy theory. Right. This is your turn. This is your turn. Well, okay. Okay. Let's 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 think of a um of a conspiracy theory. Um. Why? No, you know, okay, this is how we're going to leave it off, because I feel like we've extended our time. Because um, <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to hit the 30-minute mark right now, guys. Um, we're trying. No, but here's here's a conspiracy. Th- th- wh- why is Marie Antoinette's tower <laughs> in Wisconsin? No, I know they explain it to us in some no, sort do. of article, but they why do. really? Like, like the wife of the, gu- of yeah, yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. no. But why is it really there? Yeah, exactly. Listeners? So why is it really? There's got to be a why real it? reason. It came with like a trap dungeon, okay? <laughs> that, that's built into the ground. That's not just a part of the tower. I know. Somebody right. had to do this on purpose. Someone had to like dig that part out for the tower to go in. They knew it was there. Re- why did they bring that? Aren't and there dead people also, down it's not there? Like they just, it's not like they just flew the tower, no, no, okay? No. Aren't there dead people in there? <laughs> I mean, like bones and bones. wasn't there a freaking war? Isn't that how Marie Antoinette's story ended? I'm just okay. So, okay. listeners, please, please give us your your opinions on yes. why that tower, dungeon and all, <laughs> with dead people in it, is down there. <laughs> please. Also, do the dead people smell? <laughs> no, 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 Ariana, they're bones. Come on. Like, do the bones smell? I don't know. <laughs> or is it like, I, I, I feel know, like it I might just be suits of armor. Bone like empty bones. suits of armor. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst part to me. Because <laughs> they wouldn't yeah. even been in suits of armor during Marie Antoinette's time period. <laughs> <laughs> we might just be crazy. You know, we might just have completely forgotten what the game's about. They, tell this us. is a distinct <laughs> probability, in which case we'll just cover this another time when we've actually played the game more recently. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> So, this is Crowmaster Sisters signing off. Yes. And asking you, Clue Crew, to stay sleuthy. <laughs> stay sleuthy. Stay sleuthy. We're going for it. <laughs>